Athletics Complex, Marv Albert, Bertie Pacheco. We get set for the gold medal round of the 156-pound light middleweight division. Roy Jones, the 19-year-old from Pensacola, Florida, who has been outstanding during the competition, going against Park Sihan of Korea from Mazan, Korea, located in the uh, south of the country. And like uh, most of the Korean boxers, has a maul and brawl type style. Not much punching power. So Jones will attempt to beat him with the jab. Major problem concerning Roy Jones. Keeps that left low. As a result, has been caught by the occasional right hand. And uh, portions of the crowd have not been thrilled with some of his showboating tactics. But he has been very impressive. Well, Mark has the distinction of having the worst jab in this tournament. He just waves it out there. It's this very strange jab. And he's straight up. And that means that he's going to get caught with uh, jabs and right crosses, as Jones just demonstrated. Remember, Jones has superior speed, technique. And if he drops his hand, it's because he learned it at the foot of the master. Ray Leonard, who fights with his head forward, taunting his opponent, throwing right hand leads, using mobility. Look at him giving the angles and punching from the angles. It's all pure Sugar Ray Leonard. And earlier, Sugar Ray had a conversation with Brian Double, talked about the raw skill and natural talent that Roy Jones possesses. Roy from a family of five, a two-time National Golden Gloves champion. He is in the red vest. And Park C. Hunt of Korea in the blue, the referee Aldo Leone of Italy. And Jones has come out very active. There's Roy Sr., one-time professional boxer. That roar was for the first scoring punch that Park threw. Park is fighting extremely slowly, uh, almost as if he's dipped in molasses here. He's just very deliberate and trying to figure out how to get in. In the meantime, Jones building up points, peppering him with multiple punches. There's one. Of course, that landed high up on the headgear, did not score a point because the white of the glove did not land the target area. And Roy Jones is carrying that left hand up high, not the case as we saw earlier in his qualifying bouts. And he caught Park with the left hook, just under a minute remaining. In this first round, there is a caution against Park for slapping. And Jones, prior to that, just boxed beautifully. Under and over, finishing up with a combination, and those are point-getters. They're all landing. Those two punches just landed flush. And again, finishing off with the left hook. by Roy Jones. You can see the, the difference in the speed of reflexes. It's, um, it, I've never seen it so incredibly shown. One guy's super fast, the other guy very slow. Holding caution. Hold on, Park. Coming up on 10 seconds remaining. In this first round, the left hook continues to score for Roy Jones. They're fighting for the gold of a light middleweight division. Yesterday, it was Bantamweight Kennedy McKinney, along with heavyweight Ray Mercer winning gold medals. Michael Carvajal losing out of decision. And Roy Jones has opened up in strong fashion against Park Sihar. This guy is bewildering. Jones is just bewildering in his speed and the different angles he throws those punches from. You got to go back to Sandy Sadler, Willie Pep. You got to go back to Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard to see this kind of speed. Did get the left hand in, and that prompted the roar from the crowd. Jones now has the left hand down low, showing confidence. Took his opponent a little bit more seriously in the first round. Well, I think he's getting into the rhythm of things now, and that's terrible news for Park, who can't seem to find any kind of rhythm.
did not respond well during Roy Jones' semifinal victory over Richard Woodhall of Great Britain, not favorably reacting to some of Roy's showboating tactics, which can also turn off the judges. Meanwhile, Park making a turn here in the second round. And then Jones right back to the body. Yeah, the only turn he took was to the worst. He, he came in and got just clobbered. Now Jones playing. He's doing a shuffle, an alley shuffle. He's coming after him. <laughs> and think this guy's just 19 years old. Oh, there's Park landing the right hand. Just under a minute left. Second round, and Jones caught Park with a counter. And another left hook, although the crowd reacted to the right by Park that uh, grazed Jones. A standing and, eight. Yes, a standing eight. Being handed out to Park Seahawk. Every time Park threw a punch, he got hit two and three punches in return. Right on the button. That's what that standing eight was all about. And a combination of standing eights and knockdowns adding up to three and one round of the bout is over adding up to four for the entire fight and it is all over coming up on 15 seconds remaining second round As you can count down round number two again Jones staggering Park you see those solid shots right on the button by Jones that was going on minutes I mean seconds before this and that got him a standing eight count uh, for Park as uh, Leone came in and said hey that's enough you're getting hammered gave him a standing eight and the, and the news in the corner is that Adam said you got to speed it up. If he speeds it up more, he's going to get a speeding ticket. And this is the third and final round for the gold in the 156-pound light middleweight division. Art Albert with the fight doctor. Bertie Pacheco were at the Chomshill Students Gymnasium. Roy Jones in the red vest. Park C. Hun in the blue. And once again, the crowd overreacting because Park C. Hun did not make contact. They saw a lot of motion. Well, Park's got to feel desperate now. He's got to try to put out Jones. He can't get close to him without getting hit 30 punches. I mean, that's an exaggeration, three punches. But still, it's point building on the part of Jones, and Park can't get close to do damage. had that one good moment that was briefly in the second round and then Jones came right back and it led to the standing eight and now Jones just picking away and stepping away that's all he needs to do is volley and step back leave your calling card and take off right there Ooh. and that was an emphatic calling card he had Park staggered I don't know what they're waiting for. That's not a standing eight. I don't know what is. Leone looking to look how he leans in. Leone's looking in a couple of more hooks like that, and I don't know why they wouldn't give him a standing eight. Approaching the halfway mark of this third round, and Park C. Hard is taking a thrashing. back in 1984 at the Los Angeles Olympics that Frank Tate won the gold in this light middleweight division. Roy Jones looking to join him in the record books. Those punches caught on the glove. Again, you hear the crowd, but uh, not much there for Park C. Hall. That hook was so hard, Leone just about took a full step in to stop it. Look at what Jones is doing. He's landing a tapping right and then zinging in a very hard hook. There it is, right there. There it is, right there. And Jones getting that hook in at will. Coming up on 30 seconds, Seahawks. 
he got inside. He worked to the body. He did the shoe shine. But the main damage was right there. The tapping left, and then the I mean the tapping right, and then the very hard left hook. I think he won this amply. Should be a no question, but you never know. Take a look again at counterpunch. Decisive advantage for Jones. So Park C. Han from Mazan, Korea, and Roy Jones of Pensacola, Florida. Well, if he doesn't win the goal off this, then I think there's something rotten in Korea because that is absolutely one of the most dominant things I've seen. On point three two in the blue corner. Well, there it is. Park Sihan has stolen the belt. Roy Jones stunned. Ken Adams into the ring to discuss matters with his boxer. There's Roy's dad. And that is to figure. We're told the judges are from